Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your Hump Day Rant Part 2 with your host, Andrew Williams. Follow us on Twitter at 104.5 The Team, Facebook, ESPN Radio, 104.5 The Team, all the articles throughout the week for your home for New York sports, 104.5 The Team. Now, I have two very controversial topics I want to talk about. The first one is that came out yesterday, that blew up yesterday. Supposedly, SUNY Cortland students put together a petition saying they don't want Michael Vick coming to their campus for training camp, the Jets training camp. Remember, the Jets just signed the quarterback to a one-year $5 million, $5 million deal. They don't want him there because he's convicted in 2007 of running a dog fighting ring. Understandable. People love their dogs. Personally, I'm not a dog owner. Family, friends have dogs. I see how much they love their dogs. It's a human's best friend, everybody says. My man served his time, though. Served 18 months in federal prison, got out, has done everything possible to try to help his name. I understand if you don't want to forgive him for what he did in the past, but you got to let the man earn money. Got to let him do his job, earn his living. There's players in the NFL who have killed people, got trouble for selling drugs, and even worse things that we probably don't even know about. You got to let this go. You got to let the man do his job, go out there. And Jets fans, this might be your starting quarterback. Your starting quarterback next year, you don't want at training camp. And not to mention, when the Jets come into town, Cortland gets so much money. It helps their economy, it helps everything around them. I understand, like I said, you might not like him as a person, but you got to let a man earn his living. He did his time. What else can you ask for from the guy? And the second thing. UMass sophomore Derek Gordon comes out as the first openly gay Division I college basketball player. I'm proud of him. Good for you. I'm glad you came out. You had the courage. I read, I listened to the interview, how hard he said it was. Coach saying he would be crying sometimes because he just wanted to let it out. I'm proud that he got to let it out. But I don't think we need to see a one-on-one -on -one interview every single time somebody comes out. Like I said, I am happy. I'm so happy that you came out. Good for you. Like that makes you play better. It lets that out in you. I'm proud of you. Good. Like, doesn't matter if I'm proud of you. Or somebody's not proud of you. You did it for yourself. Great. But the thing is, if every single player has a one-on-one -on -one interview when this comes out, are we going to do it for the first water polo player, the first soccer player, the first in every sport? It comes a little. It gets a little much. And then if you don't do it for a certain guy, are you overshadowing what he does? My thing is this. Whatever you do outside the sport is up to you. Gay, straight, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. That's my topics. That's your hump day rant. I'm Andrew Williams. Remember, follow us on Twitter at 1045 The Team and check us out, 1045 Team.com, for all your New York sports articles.